I'm sick. Boo, you whore. Hey, monsters. I know it's been a hot second since I posted a book video. It's weird because I felt like I was not motivated at all to make book content for a long time. Having just attended Book Expo, I'm feeling more motivated, but also I'm kind of not necessarily committed to doing just book stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I do have some older book content that I never ended up editing that I might want to put up. But I know a lot of my new subscribers are from my Game of Thrones videos, and while that's over, I have a couple more I might want to do, and I also like might want to do more like movies and stuff, so we'll see. But today I want to talk about the books that I got at Book Expo, and if you're unfamiliar with that, it's basically a publishing event, and Book Expo is for industry members, and then after those three days, there's two days of Book Con. Book Con is open to anyone, so it's more like a normal convention. So I went to all three days of Book Expo this year, and I didn't go to Book Con at all. The past two years, I went to one day of Book Con only, and then in 2014, 2015, 2016, I went to Book Expo only back when it was called BEA, short for Book Expo America. And I mean, I really like Book Expo because since it's for like industry people, a lot of bloggers and booktubers go and you can get a lot of free books because they're handing out ARCs, which are advanced reader copies. But I also get to see a lot of my friends. So it's really fun. When it's your first time going, it can be so hard to like restrain yourself from just taking every single book that you see. But I tried really, really hard not to do that because I know myself and how fast I read and the books I'm interested in and I don't want to just have books sitting on my shelf just because they were free ones, you know? So I'm going to show you guys the books that I got. Personally, the way that I read is that I try not to know too much about books before going in. So I'm going to have like the bare minimum to tell you guys, but hopefully you guys will let me know which ones you're interested in reading and hopefully I will get to all of these before they all come out because I would feel bad if I like took a book and then didn't you know promote it before it came out or when it came out because that's kind of the point of this not just to give people free books for no reason also i am genuinely sick from a book expo i woke up saturday morning feeling like crap and it's monday and i still feel like that so fingers crossed that that will go away all right so let's start and this is not in any particular order it's just the way i stacked it so the first one is not a full copy but I mainly got it because I wanted to meet this author and it's Adam Rapon's book, Beautiful on the Outside. This book is supposed to come out in October and it's published by, I never know how to say it, Hachette? I don't know, whatever. It was amazing to meet him. He was so sweet and so gorgeous in person. And yeah, so I did actually read the sampler already, the whole thing. It's interesting. I mean, it's basically about his life. So if that's what you're interested in, Go check that out when it comes out in October. All right, I also got Little Weirds by Jenny Slate. Uh, she was there signing, but I didn't get this one signed. And this is published by Little Brown and it's gonna be on sale on November 5th, 2019. And it's basically like a collection of, like sh not even short stories, just like thoughts and stories and things like that. I started it, I'm not so sure I love the type of writing in it, but I'm sure it could work for a lot of people. So one of the most fun things about Book Expo is like going and meeting friends or meeting new people. And I didn't want to go unless I had like a good friend to kind of like hang out with the whole time. And luckily, um, my good friend Emily was able to go. I met Emily through Jenna. So Jenna Clark Hay, who congrats, just reached 20,000 subscribers. I stayed at Jenna's house because in 2016, BEA was in Chicago and Jenna lives close by. So I stayed there and I met her friend Emily through her there and luckily we kept in touch. So Emily actually stayed at my house this time and we hung out. So this book, she couldn't fit in her luggage so she gave it to me. So I didn't actually try to get this book but it looks good. And this is called When the Stars Lead to You by Ronnie Davis. And this is also published by Little Brown which is an imprint of Hachette, I think. And this is supposed to be published in November. It's about, I think, a summer romance that breaks up and then is possibly gonna get back together. Kind of coming of agey, sounds really cute. Okay, so the next book I got is called I Hope You Get This Message by Farinaz Rishi. And this is from Harper Teen and it's supposed to come out in October. And this is kind of like an end of the world love story book. They say it's like a cross between we All Looked Up Meets the Sun is Also a Star. They also say it's part arrival, part they both die at the end. So 
take that as you will. The next book I got is called Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. So this is actually a middle grade book. I was also there trying to find books that maybe I could read in my book club, which focuses on middle grade books. It's just with my family and friends and stuff. Um, this comes from an imprint of HarperCollins called Bowser and Bray. And this is about um, a young girl whose family is going through a divorce. The next book I got is A Match Made in Mahendi by Nandini Bajpai. And this is another book from Little Brown that's supposed to be published in September. And I'm going to find out what it's about right now. So this book is about a teenage girl who is Indian American and kind of dealing with her family's expectations for her versus the dreams she has for herself and also kind of like matchmaking and teenage love versus the kind of love your parents want for you. It seems really, really cute. The next book I got is The Map From Here to There by Emerald Lord, which is published by Bloomsbury, which is an imprint of, I always forget, Macmillan. I want to say Macmillan. Um, and this is supposed to come out in January, January 7th, 2020. So this is a sequel to The Start of Me and You, which I actually have, but I, I need to read it. So I'm going to do probably like a back to back when I finally get to this, but it is from what I understand, just a contemporary love story about teens. Okay, the next book I got is War Girls. This is by Tochi Onyabuchi, and it's coming out from Razorbill in October, and, and that is an imprint of Penguin. So this is like a dystopian, and it seems like it involves cyborgs, possibly. It looks really, really cool. Another middle grade book I got is called Free Lunch by Rex Ogle. Ogle. I'm not sure how to say that, and this is from... Norton Young Readers, which is just an imprint of W.W. W. Norton and Company. This is supposed to go on sale in September 2019. And this is about um, a young kid dealing with poverty and having to get the free lunch from school. And it seems really sad, but I think I'm going to enjoy it. The next book I got is The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. This is also from Bloomsbury and it's on sale February 4th, 2020. And this is a gay romance and it doesn't really say anything on the back but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay last book is Hollow Kingdom by Kina Jane Burton and this is gonna go on sale August 6th 2019 and honestly this one I didn't really want but I didn't know how to say no because I asked the person at the autographing line like what it was about because it looked interesting and it doesn't really seem like my type of book but I was too embarrassed to say like, oh, actually that doesn't sound like something I want to read. So I just said, okay. And then I went and got it and the author was really nice. So I hope I like it because now I feel bad. <laughs> but it's basically about a crow and a dog that like team up to save the world from what I understand. So hopefully it's cute, but I don't know. I kind of like the cover a lot. So hopefully I do like it. Okay, so it's kind of upside down, but in total I have 10 books and then also that one chapter sampler, which already feels like too many books, but in comparison to what I've done in previous years, I feel like this is a decent amount, but also reserved. Does that make sense? Like I feel like I, I held back and that's good. So are you guys excited for any of those upcoming releases? I'd like to hear your thoughts. And if you were at either Book Expo or Book Con, I'd like to know how it was, how your experience was, if you got any books that I got. And also um, I will be doing, hopefully, a vlog. I mean, like, I filmed it. We'll see how the footage came out because I didn't have a chance to really look at it yet. Um, but I did vlog while I was there and I'm hoping to put that up soon. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!